Hello. We have a special guest today in the somewhat of the background. This is DJ Ames, my father, if you haven't put that one together yet. He'll be helping me read the chat today and just here for funsies. <laughs> it's uh, Memorial Day, so What's up, nerds? we, uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to say that. <laughs> a little thrown off this morning, but since it's Memorial Day, Dad has the day off from the unicorn farm, so we get to hang out and do this together. How are you guys doing? Oh crap, he's here. Hi. <laughs> Monty rocks. Today, we've got the wood boy from the thumbnail. No, it's not real wood. If you're upset that I clickbaited, you're just global. Sorry to say it. And then the other one we've got today is the one that uh, Funny Playing sent to me forever ago that I have been forgetting to do a video on or a stream on. Is the NES variety of the Game Boy Color. And the things we're doing today are two different mod kits. So uh, we're not going to do any speed runs, but the second one should go very fast because I don't think there's any soldering required. So, yeah. Uh, Rux also has the day off, so no unicorn farming for him either. Cool. Intel gives you the day off to not unicorn farm. Nether Whisperer says, hello. Hello. Hello, governor. Hello. Uh, I said funny playing, didn't I? I meant extreme rate if I said funny playing. But we're going to start with the not the wood one. I don't know why I had the, the NES one going second in my mind. But we're going to do what we normally do and do the thumbnail one second. So, uh, here's the little notes from these. This one works, always worked from the start, but this shell is awful for some reason. So, good thing we're getting rid of that, even though it looks like a cool shell. It is not quality at all. I have no idea where it's from. And then this one worked, but it's just really dirty. With a lot of dust. Motherboard's already cleaned in there. Uh, it'll eventually be a part of a video, maybe for members only. We'll see. PC four one one four seven says he has Thursday. The or he or she has Thursday and Friday off. Some old woman's birthday. I don't know. Does that mean have, your mom's birthday's? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh no. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. not. No. On Saturday. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Nether Whisperer, how are y'all doing today? We are pretty good. I'm pretty stoked to be here. Hopefully yeah. I add to it, not take away from it. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Voldo the G-Face, hey friends. Erwin, what's up guys? What's up, Erwin? Where's the fire emojis, Erwin? Yeah, come on. Don't hold back just because I'm here. Oh, the Queen's birthday. Uh, We're Americans, so we don't care. I'll be lurking in and out today as I'm as I'm depending time with spending time with the family. I assume. There's some fire emojis. There we go. Oh, yours is ahead of mine. Carlos, hey, what's up, guys? What's up? <clears throat> Looking forward to rewatching this mod, though. It will be <gasps> there. They are. Daniel Game Boy 1990. Hi, all. Rux DC. Oh, the queen is only 70? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. We'll start with the green one today. Put all this off to the side. I love extreme rate stuff, but I really dislike... Well, these tools suck. But I really dislike that you have to put every little thing together. Like, these should just come pre-installed, the RF fields. I, I guess that's not the end of the world. But then the battery connector is also not connected. And I feel like everybody else does it, that they could do it too. But that's just me. Okay, let's start taking this apart. Uh, I told myself that I was going to remind you to not forget the clear bulb. This one doesn't have it. Does nope. It? Yeah. You're learning. 
You're a learner of things. 96 of Queen. Man. Dang. That's old. That's very old. I knew that she was old. I mean, by just looking at her, it's kind of obvious, but I. Everybody always paired her in the. And Betty White, almost called Betty White the Queen, which I think she's more royalty than the Queen is, but yeah, more worthy of it at least. I think one of the biggest differences is in Britain when they say they're on the throne, it's different than what it means in the United States. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's completely different. Completely. 96 dog years. More fire emojis. My great, my great grandma lived until she was 103. Ruck said, passed away in 2017. She helped raise me. That Dang. is amazing. Not that she helped raise you, but living to 103. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. Did she have a glass of whiskey every day for longevity? What was her secret, Rux? Yeah, we need to know. Yeah. Or is it you giving her life? <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay. Now this shell is really tight everywhere. So, to not break it, or the motherboard, I have to be very careful and slow. There we go. Boom. Rux said the difference between being on the throne in England and being on the throne in America is one is the king or queen, the other is a senator. Yeah, I think that went over our heads. Yeah. You have to forgive us. We're a little slow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so DC one four seven says. So Jake, I tried modding my GBA finally over the weekend. Keyword being tried. <laughs> <laughs> Got to uh, start somewhere, right? Yeah. Yep. What what went wrong? Maybe I can give you some foresight or five sight. Mm hmm. Foresight was not the right word. Insight is what I meant to say. That's right. It's all right. Did this one have sound? I'm looking at the speaker here, and when I was going through, let me unhook this real quick. When I was going through all of these, some of the problems I was having, was not, never seen that happen before, uh, was whoever was trying to fix these up before, they put the, well, they did a really bad job of soldering the wires to the speaker but they would do it to the inner ones, and I think you're supposed to do it to the outer ones. I don't know. I don't know enough about speakers. But this one's got one on the inside, one on the outside. Because there's four contacts there. But I've only ever seen them working on the outer ones. So, I don't know. I think this is just a, a funny playing replacement speaker. I don't know. It's definitely not original. If anybody has any thoughts on that one, Rex explained that they're both on the throne too long. They're in power too mm -hmm. long. Agreed. Yeah. But we're not going to get into politics today. No, no. Okay. We'll go down that road. No. no. We don't need anything else from here, plus the uh, these membranes have seen better days. They're supposed to have some texture to it. I don't know if it's going to show up. But there's supposed to be some texture on these pads. They are very flat. Maybe the originals don't have texture to them, but all the new ones do. I just assume that the old ones have had the texture worn off. But everything is pretty good here. Uh, yeah, let's see what DC has to say. I tried the drop-in IPS kit. It wouldn't fit with without some of, kind of pressure on the LCD, and I can't get the whole thing assembled without there being missing pixels on the screen. Hmm. Interesting. The old screen is in the console now. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, what state are you from? We are from Oregon. We are in Oregon. We're also in the state of confusion. A lot. A lot of the time, yes. Uh, I've got... I, I assume that you just have a bad screen if it's missing pixels. Uh, but... I, I don't know. I don't know where you got it from. But I would talk to customer service about that if you haven't already. Okay. Oh, Ruff Self said... Timer. Uh, for my grandma, it was probably pickle juice. She would constantly drink the juice left over in the pickle jar. Oh, that's hard. I think I will pass on that. Just not live as long if that's the case. <laughs> Voldo, the G-Face, Fudge, Politics, we're all humans. We're the same. That's, uh, yep. I'm going to need to get into your knees here. Get this out. Probably should have got this out before, but... I'm going to do the shell trimming now, get out the screen and make sure I've only done this a couple of times, so I don't want to do it wrong. Oh yeah, this is one of the ones from the uh, the, the stream where everything went wrong. We don't want to talk about that. No. We don't talk about Bruno anymore. Either. No. Okay. Throw that off. I don't know if there's really a point to having this. The screen came from Zed Labs. It actually works fine outside the case. Hmm. Uh, let's see. And then he went on. I think the problem is the ribbon cable, to be honest, but I can't prove it. I think I'm going to get the funny playing IPS V2 and a custom pre-cut shell and try it again with that. Yeah, so you, you had to cut yours? Is what I'm getting at then? If you Did you not have a pre-cut one before? Because the, the trimming is tough. And that's why I either buy shells like this that have all the notches for you to just easily trim. Or uh, just the ones that are already fully trimmed. Because I suck at it. If you've seen my funny kindergarten projects that I've done for videos, you'll know that I'm not very good at cutting things. Which I don't understand. We used to go to the Home Depot... <laughs> stuff where they helped us this is true yeah uh he did say that the Z Labs customer service has been pretty helpful uh and he said negative no cuts but this was supposed to be drop in mm, uh, yeah i forgot about that i don't know how you say it not nawful no fool new fall new fall let's go with that so i bought a gba sp and planning to mod it but one of the screw on the shell is heavily corroded and stripped any advice to take it off uh carefully drilling the top off or a lot of people will glue their screwdriver head to it uh, I just I drill it out you're gonna get replacement screws if you replace this assuming you replace the shell uh, so I would just try and get it open <laughs> and discard that screw uh, and then just use the new ones with the new kit but he, sorry, forgive my Ignorance. Mm -hmm. So he's trying to take the screw out without ruining the post to put I the screw back later. I think he's just trying to get into the device as a whole because uh, it's stripped. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's what I got from okay. that. Not one on the inside. No. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Somebody. Classical Madness finally made another stream. Woo! Cool. Ruck said it took pressure. If I if it took pressure to mount the screen, it is possible the screen may have had too much pressure applied to it. Uh, DC-147. Still, I'm looking forward to attempt number two next month. That sounds wrong, just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> That's my middle school humor there. <laughs> I wouldn't wait that long to attempt it again. Yeah, that seems yeah. unhealthy. <laughs> you might try some dietary aid or something. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. That trimmed enough? I think so. I think I'm gonna go ahead and trim these two posts here. So I don't want to push it in. I think that should fit. There we go. Can you get a boom? Boom. I don't say it that often. <laughs> okay. 
The real question is, why is there no sticker for this? Ruck said, don't forget your fiber. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, now we get to do the fun part of trimming this all down. The one thing I don't like about uh, the Game Boy Colors is there's a lot of trimming involved. I don't think you necessarily have to trim the pins off of the cart reader, but the first time, the first two times I did these kits that, uh, like the Funny Playing V2 ones with the light up logo, both of them shorted out and I had to trim the pins. Uh, so I always just trim every Game Boy Color I get. Oh, can I just rip those off? Like a beast? So does it matter which kit that you gotta tr do trimming for pretty much any of them? For pretty much, yeah. If the screen sticks over the the pins here, these are pretty pokey, so I I just wouldn't take the chance poking anything because it's gonna line up right here on this where the ribbon cable folds over, and poking the fragile ribbon cable doesn't sound like a good idea. So those are pokey, Mon. Mm-hmm. See, I just ignore when my dad says he's in chat. So I don't know how to really react when the, he says a bad joke mm -hmm. in live in person. Okay. Anything more from the chat? Uh, let's see. Ruck said, don't forget the fiber. We said that. Uh, the Addy27 gave us a chuckle. Uh, Rux was adding to the advice for a DC-147 drill. Or I think it was DC-147 drill into the screw head slightly with a drill bit then you might be able to reverse the drill and extract it that has worked for me in the past it's pretty good advice uh, they are only dad jokes when they become apparent <laughs> ah thank you Rux keep them coming see this is like a <laughs> it's not a joke it's just the What's it called? Like a pun, almost. Or maybe that is a pun. I don't really know what the definition of a pun is. A uh, pun is almost like a, a play on words joke. Yeah. Um, like I know what a pun is. I just don't I like to look up the formal definition of things, because I'm a nerd. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, void the Gardevoir says, hey, I really like your videos, and this is the first stream I've managed to catch. Well, welcome. Thank you very much. Hopefully I said that right. You did, because Gardevoir is Pokemon. <laughs> it's a very popular Pokemon. It's my favorite. Always has been. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dads be dads with their jokes. That's right. It's what we do. Okay. The Addy? Is this the Addy from, uh, from Matt's stream? I recognize the name. We're missing a couple of, of the regulars, though. The regular? It's a holiday. Yeah. Uh, Bunch of crap. You want to hand me a paper towel? Paper towel? I don't want to scratch this up. These things scratch really easily because it's just... A white shell with this stuff painted on. Uh, yeah, and sometimes I think with these ones they paint it brown and then I, I shouldn't say paint. It's UV printed. And I think they put brown over it and then put the wood over it. There's a an SP version of this that has a pretty pretty bad mess up that uh, I will show off when we get to that one. But it's a. Uh, it's not, not good. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to feel like wood at all or not. It's kind of yeah. velvety. Yeah. I don't... They call it the soft touch. I'm not a huge fan of it. Really? I like it. Yeah. Uh, well, it's just like... I keep my nails long to mod all the stuff. And I'm always worried it's going to scratch. But mm -hmm. I don't know. It feels... Not, obviously not the same. But it gives me the same feeling of like nails on a chalkboard. And I don't like touching cotton either. Because it's... Like the cotton balls, cotton swabs, no, this is fine. Okay. I don't know why I keep flipping that over. 
Grom said, wish my dad had a favorite Pokemon. The Addy 27 says, yes, this is the Addy. The Addy. From Matt's stream on Twitch yesterday. Mm -hmm. Or was it the day before? I can't remember. Wow, somebody's partying too much. Yeah. Uh, Ari says, Ch ciao? C-I-A-O, -C is that right? I believe so. Hip frame, evening nerds. I can't remember hip frames over the pond, maybe? I think so. Where are you from, hip frame? Where's everybody from? I always like hearing where people are from. Ari, if I'm saying that right, Sono Italiana. Uh, DC 147, I'm surprised that's not plastic dipped, actually, unless you literally just said that it was, that it is. I'm dumb, and I'm dumb. I phased out. It's easy to phase out when I'm talking, so my wife does it all the time. <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to embarrass mom. Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry mom. I, this is tough to line up because I, it doesn't just like slot in like all the other ones do. There's no corner to put this in. So I gotta make sure. Oh, that's perfect. Never mind. Oh, it's not. Per oh, okay. There's a spot to line it up. It's totally different perspective than from watching the stream to be in here. Uh -huh. To seeing what you're doing. Man. So this is the tape to hold the screen in once you put it in there then? Yeah. You'd think I know this because I've seen these. A million times? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. There we uh, go. That should be perfect. Rox is oh. saying hello to some peeps. Uh, at DC147 says at RA. Hola, Italy from the, from the UK. Erwin says, Happy Memorial Day to all guys. Yeah, much love to everybody who sacrificed over here, uh, everywhere, for us, so we can have the freedom to do these fun things. Mm -hmm. And uh, not just people who gave their lives, but we've got family members that were military and the spouses and uh, families that sacrificed uh, along with them. Thank you, everybody. Uh, let's see. Hip Frame from England. Major Weldon. I don't think I've seen that name before. Thank you for making the Mew GBA. I love playing on it a lot. Oh, that's why it's... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's bought two Game Boys from me now. And Rux says he has a friend from Rome, so that's probably his only friend. Made up. Wow. Made, oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, the Addy 27 from Canada. Vancouver, eh? Mm -hmm. Roman War... Ooh. Worried, Germany, living in the U.S. DC 147, I'm Scottish, but living in England. And Erwin's giving us some more fire emojis. That Dang, that GBC looks fire. <laughs> looks classy. Uh, another whisperer from the good old U.S. of A. right in Tennessee. You're the only 10 I see. <laughs> I don't see you, though. Oh. You know, Ohio's round on the ends and high in the middle? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's some weirdo from Oregon in here, too, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your daughter. What? What? Oh, Samantha. Hello. Yeah, it's weird seeing Samantha O, not yeah. Samantha S. <laughs> She's still Samantha Simmons in my contacts, and she will forever and always be. Sorry, Will. She's like family to us. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know why I peeled that off now. Sorry, you're not going to get the, the sweet peel for this one. Okay. Fitting this one in. Should just be that easy. And it is. Boom. 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 Everyone's Peruvian, but living in Virginia. Virginia. The Lilisaurus. Hey yo, Puerto Rico over here living in Texas now. Puerto Rico. Rux, wow, so many people from different countries. It's awesome. It is. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, Samantha O from Ori Oregon. Ori Oregon. Oregon. Joseph Bartol. Not being preachy, but cherish your dad spending time with you. Definitely. Eh. My dad's Alzheimer's uh, is destroying any recall he has of me, and you don't realize what you have till it slips away. Great, he's there with you. Yes, and I cherish every moment I get with my family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Sorry to hear that, Joseph. No, that's not fun. No. Rux, my Roman friend, lived in Japan and is in the middle of publishing his first book. That's awesome. Cool. Okay. We're going to take the advice of Mako and solder not on the screen. We'll solder on the flammable paper towel this time. Don't knock out the Mako. Mm -hmm. I think his video is probably still paused on my TV right now. I was watching an old one from him. And boom. I don't remember seeing the these what was that on the back of it. Well, this before. one in this because I did open this kit before. I may have just lost the film, the protective film for it. Uh -huh. But I just used the thing that protects the screen. The little uh, foam deal? No, the the other side of the screen. It's like oh, they always okay. have plastic yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah. So you don't get fingerprints on this part. Uh I just flipped it out and reused it to cover this up to protect it from shorts. Uh, actually, I'm kind of soldering a little early here because we should probably do this. You've got your protective goggles on, yes, so you don't have to look away. Oh, you're going to be nipping? Yeah. All right, I'll read while you're nipping. Okay. Kelly Martins. Hello, I got the same shell for my Game Boy Advance in the port... I'm from Portugal, Italy, and Ecuador, but I live in Canada. Uh, that's a lot of places. A lot of places, <laughs> and Samantha loves and would love to live in Canada. Mm -hmm. okay. My sister has a strong love for Canada, and if I ever do a collab with uh, Linus, I'll have to take her with me. Do a little road trip, because he's really not that far away from us. Probably like six hours. Uh, yeah, probably. Vancouver. Yeah. Depends Vancouver. on who's driving. Vancouver, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see... Avoid the Gardevoir. I said that right before, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I'm going to guess. There's fire type, water type, and what's the other one? There's a lot more than just those. So I'm going to say fire. No. Ah, dang it. Uh, all, the way, all the way across the pond in the Uck. Carlo Dennis, Puerto Rico, living in Florida. Rux O'Regan. Ducks or beavers, Rux? Yeah. It's Answer very wisely. Important. Don't cheat by looking at my P.O. box either. <laughs> it's Tiggs. Hey, I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Just recently found your channel. I want to, I want to SP. I see you don't enjoy building those ones, but do you think you will be making any more? Probably on Wednesday. That's a yes. I think we might just make it extreme rate week here. Uh, the video won't have anything to do with extreme rate, but... All these kits or all these uh, shells are from Extreme Rate, so I think I I've got more from them. Uh, I was gonna wait until after the video. My tutorial, my in-depth tu tutorial, is gonna be uh, on the Extreme Rate shells again, and I was gonna wait till after that video went live. But that'll probably be at the end of the month, and I don't want to wait that long because I don't have that many SP shells left. That's a long-winded answer, but I did it dad style <laughs> since dad's right here. Uh, I see a lot of repeat questions in here, which is fine because mm -hmm. you get new people all the time, but there's one that just popped up that I don't think I've seen before. Okay. Uh, Nether Whisperer, do you know any good beginner sol soldering projects? That is another common one, is but it? yes. I always recommend doing a macro because that way you get... A Game Boy out of it for relatively cheap. You can still find broken DS lights for like twenty bucks. Not gonna be like everywhere for twenty bucks, but even thirty bucks isn't terrible. Uh, and then getting the what's it called? The resistor is really cheap too. You can get a hundred of them, a hundred of them for like five bucks, and with a beginner soldering iron kit, it it's only one thing that you have to solder. So, I think it's very much worth it. Uh, to give that a shot, you can go with the uh, SMD resistor, which is what I do, the really small ones that are like a tiny, tiny little rectangle. But you can also get the bigger resistors. I don't know, Rux can probably answer it, but uh, the 
the other style is a little bit easier to handle because it's more like wiry on the ends but they're still both very small so I don't know maybe it's not the best starting soldering thing uh, retro game repair shop has some solder practice kits uh, I did get some to hopefully do a stream or a video on in the future because I do want the one of the goals of the channel is to help people learn how to do this and not be intimidated by it that's why I taught my dad how to make a macro that's why I taught Austin how to mod an SP my dad did better than Austin did sorry Austin but truth yeah. Oh, wow, that's not a good joint. But that's still not good. Okay. Get the flux out. Get Let's the do flux the, out. I got a ton of different styles of flux. This one's the the pen style. Works kind of like a paint pen. You just press it down on there. It might sizzle a little bit. I think this one sizzles. Yeah, not terrible though. There we go. And it works like a charm. Ooh. Boom. Ooh. I'm going to read a little bit to get caught up here. Yep. Uh, Rux, one of my screens didn't come with a protective sheet, so I just covered uh, the back in capped on tape. Yep. Uh, Joseph Bartol, thank you. Just But just sharing life lesson. Your videos are a joy to watch. One of these days I'll get to hit the purchase button in time. Erwin, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mako knows from personal experience. Still mad respect to him though yeah he th he thought me a lot I'm well taught right yeah uh, nether whisperer he got a new studio uh, Mako did who did? got a new studio are you talking about Austin oh Austin yeah I knew I've known that for a while you know insider info but uh, it was under it's I mean, still under construction I think I think just one of the rooms is finished from what he showed off the other day. I don't know, I could text Matt. But. Rux has a sister in Albany. Yeah. Carlos Dennis. Super chat. Just a little pear guy with a mic drop. Thanks. Uh, I don't know. He's like, that's technically a super sticker. I don't know. Are you allowed to say anything with those? Right. Also, welcome Ramsey? Ebrick? Ebrick? And. Is Carlos donating to me because I'm here, or mm -hmm. are we splitting this? Just because your name is his last name doesn't mean yeah. anything. Seventy percent of that will go directly into my pocket after a couple months. So thank you very much. I'm looking for the cord that's already in the soldering iron. Okay, uh, let's do this and this is start. So we'll do this. Start. I have to pull this this way a little bit. Kind of doing this out of my normal order, but I need to get a better order down for the video where I eventually teach everybody how to do this. But I think that's really all the soldering I can do for now. So put that away. DC. Uh, 147, you know, since I went back to the original screen after my failed mod attempt, I kind of realized how much I like having a stock GBA, so I guess I have to get another uh, get another one to mod. Yeah, I always... I, mean, I always... I have one of every Game Boy and 3DS and all that. I want to keep at least one of them always stock. Uh, it's just a preference of mine. I usually don't play them when they have the stock screens because once you have a really beautiful screen like this it's hard to go back to having no backlight but oddly enough the one that I play the most that's fully stock is the DMG arguably the worst screen but I don't know there's something something about the screen that makes me like to play it every now and then hip frame used this wood style uh, extreme rate shell to replace uh, my boyfriend's Nintendo Switch shell. It's so pretty. I chose the clear yellow for myself, too. Cool. Rux got a fully functional DS Lite with minor cosmetic damage for $23. Shipping included. Seems like a deal. I missed that. Sorry, I was reading someone else's chat. Rux got a functional DS Lite with minor cosmetic damage with shipping. 23 bucks. Wow. 
That's pretty nice. That is very nice. Carabraxos. Yeah, who's that? You guys get a barbecue for... Well, it's raining, so... Do you know who that is? No. It's the only other Simmons remaining. Oh. Starts with a T, ends with an Anner? Yeah. The only other Simmons remaining. Jeremy Lyles? The lion sleeps tonight. I want to bust out into song there so bad, but I won't. <laughs> well, because, yeah, I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> I just want to do the wee <laughs> Okay. Uh, <laughs> Rux, I used a flux cable I learned about from, I think, Mako or Macho Nacho. I can't remember which. Flux cable. That's almost like, I don't, I don't know how that would work. I don't, I've never heard of that. It's like a hot glue tube or something? I don't know. I've never heard of it. Hmm. I don't know. The Addy27, uh, LOL, I watched that video with you and Austin Evans. It was good. Yeah. Thanks. My version or Austin's version? Austin's version hardly had me in it at all, so... I guess I wasn't good enough for him. It's hard to get uh, shared time with any famous YouTubers. Mm-hmm. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, Rux... Let's see, the flex board mounts with some solder and doubles as a AMP board with speaker solder points. Amp. Amp board, okay. They had it all caps, so I thought it was an acronym. <laughs> you butchered the guy's last name. I did? It's me, Tanner says. Yeah. <laughs> well, with your association with me, uh, you're full name has been leaked out on the internet. Sorry, Tanner. Your life is ruined. Yeah. There's definitely not another Tanner Simmons out in the world that's such <laughs> an original name. And Roman Warheit? War which one, Which night, last name did I? His. Oh, okay. I'm going to say it's Warheat. Warheat? I don't know. Lives in Maryland. Carlos, 50-50 split. Yes! Thanks, <laughs> Carlos. Carlos has always been my favorite today. Also, your dad. Okay. Sorry about that, Roman. Okay. There we go. Uh, I'm going to retape that. Because that crooked tape is going to bother me. Uh, DC 147. Yeah, I don't. Don't get me wrong. When I do get a working GBA with an IPS, I won't go back either, but having a stock one is just for me to have. Yeah. I'm a collector, so having one of each is something I like to have. Okay, I feel like I should tape over these. I should also move that over. Yeah, it's fine. We'll do it's a little the, tape. The, the, uh, where you, where yeah, you solder. the solder points. Yeah. Um, Matthias Westland, do you ever solder to the upper side of the board for start slash select? I see people use, people use different test points asking because I'm soon doing this myself. Uh, so this is one of my older videos from me doing this in the beginning stuff, but uh, my Game Boy Pocket Kit review, where I, it's the thumbnail where I've got it in my mouth for some strange reason, uh, but that one you, I think you have to solder to it, or at least they made it sound like it. This was back when I was still learning a lot. Uh, but these, the vias, I can't. The, these things down here, the little tiny circles, uh, those are a lot harder for me to at least solder to, because sometimes you have to like scrape the coating off of them, uh, even though they look like they should be easy to solder to. Some of them have like a clear coat on them, at least. I don't know. I don't know everything technical about all these boards, but I assume there's a coating on it because I had to scrape it a bit and then it would solder would adhere to it. But I don't know. I've just had it easier luck with uh, these points down here. And the on the pocket, these aren't dots, they're holes like okay, that's sorry. Ignore everything I just said. They were holes like this on the pocket where they don't have a real solder mask on it. Like, these ones have the gold around the edges of it. 
so I had to scrape these a little bit so I could solder to it and I didn't like that so anytime it's a dot instead of a hole I like to go for the dots that is the least technical way I could explain that but I'm also just a very practiced amateur at this stuff I wouldn't call myself a professional hopefully that makes sense Rux's flex cable. I don't know what he's saying about that. But I think he meant to say flex cable instead of flux oh, cable. Oh, flux. Oh, okay. Got for, the, uh, oh. for the macro. So, yeah. I haven't tried one of those myself. And, like, I want to. I just don't think I can make a full video on it. Maybe. I feel like it's too much for a short, but not enough for a full video. I don't know. If that's something you guys want to see, then I can give it a shot. I mean, like, I don't know, is it, if I did it in a stream, then I don't think enough people would see it, but I feel like a lot of people also know about it. I don't know. Billy, uh, no, this is a question I have not ever heard. Okay. Okay, and I'm probably going to butcher the last name, but it's Billy Boberjo. Bo Bo Boberjo, do you like cheese? I do like cheese, yeah. I could tell you're setting up for something. No, that's like that. <laughs> I just thought it was interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, the Addy 27, both versions. Uh, Roman says if you look it up on his last name on Google, it's pronounced completely different, but it's fine. Thank you for understanding. And uh, Tanner says whatever you do, though, don't look me up on Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't look me up on Google either because you're just going to find Jake Simmons of the Arrowverse, a fictional character. Well, you'll find uh, Jake Simmons Jr., which is, I don't, he was either in a band or he's like an activist of some sort. I don't know. And then there's like a couple ath college athletes that never did anything named Jake Simmons. <laughs> there's a lot of other Jake Simmons. And unless you search like a topic surrounding the things I do on YouTube, you're not going to find me if you just search Jake Simmons. Not yet, at least. If anybody does anything with Wikipedia, I'd love a Wikipedia page, uh, mainly because I just want to be on the, uh, the, what's it called, the alumni part, the notable alumni section on my high school's uh, Wikipedia page. I was about to plug <laughs> I was like, what this are you doing? little wire into my soldering iron to turn it on. I'm losing it. Wow. It's hard to think and talk at the same time. Um, DC147, I'm glad I'm not alone in hoarding Game Boys then. <laughs> uh, Philip, Keds, what's up, Jake? I checked my YouTube sub list and you were gone. I had to resubscribe. wonder if it was a, some glitch. Hmm. That's weird. I've seen your name before, so I know you've been yeah. in here before. That's interesting. I've heard of things happening like that with YouTube, but I always just didn't believe it, because <laughs> I didn't know why that would be a thing. Uh, I mean, sometimes they go and purge, like, uh, bot accounts and stuff, so I've seen, like, hundreds of channels disappear from my subscriptions all of a sudden. Not, like, my personal subscriptions, but my, my sub count will go down by a couple hundred every so often, uh, but that's because bots subscribing and they're deleting the bot accounts but I uh, that's interesting maybe they thought you were a bot hmm. uh, the, he did follow up and said uh, hey Jake is there a reason why you don't do custom orders I feel like if you do a lot more th and then make videos on them you could get the channel to grow faster for custom orders I just don't have the time because eh. with two streams a short and a video every week i do everything myself uh i was talking to my cousin that's in the chat and uh i i would love an editor and i'm getting to the point where maybe i could afford an editor but the problem is i'd have to be able to send this imaginary editor like hundreds of gigabytes of footage for every video and there's in it there's a data cap on my Wi-Fi, which is really stupid. 
So sending that over would be a problem. So it would, they'd have to be local. And even at that, it's hours of footage of me just doing something like this. And they'd have to be knowledgeable on soldering and all of this stuff. And if I found the perfect person, even then, I'd have a little bit more time. I'd rather use that to have some more free time instead of staying up till 3 a.m. playing games because that's really the only time I feel like I can play games is after like 10 or 11 o'clock. Plus, you're going to hope that you like how the edit goes and that too. the end result. Okay, I'm done soldering now. DC 147, I'm glad I'm not alone in hoarding Game Boys then. You said that already. Oh, did I? Yeah. I just given it. To oh, that, oh, no, I was going to read. Erwin says uh, to at DC 147, I also think that owning OEM GBA screen has a special feel to it. I agree. Uh, Ruck says you really shouldn't solder to vias if you aren't totally sure what you're doing and or the test pad is lifted or not working. Do it on the stream and then you can highlight it, highlight and post it on YouTube, Ruxin. For what? But the custom, maybe? No, I don't know. Those uh, Rux said those glitches happened. I lost a sub to someone that I had been sub to since 2011 when I really started using YouTube a few years ago. So they must do something. No. It's hmm. weird that YouTube would be shady like that. Yeah, well, it's, I don't think it's anything on purpose because that wouldn't make any sense for them business-wise. True. The, the point of... <laughs> they want to keep you on the app for as long as possible. Yeah. So I think it's just a glitch because they bots are bad for business. Because all they do is fluff up numbers. They don't actually get any ad revenue money or anything like that. So, okay, putting the touchpad on the IR cover and then sliding it in its spot, maybe. Am I doing it the wrong way? Is it this way? You'd think I would know by now. I just want to break it like the, the Onyx one. Am I doing this wrong? I don't think so. No. If it fits, it sits. Put bottom side doesn't look. Alright. Well, it's also trimmed, so it's a little. Hmm. Uh, Nimrat says, "It's is there a is this a lit? Oh, is this a laminated screen kit, or can dust get inside? Dust can get inside, and there probably is a little bit of dust inside it already. Dude, I had this two seconds ago." There we go. I think it's this way. You always forget, and then there's a camera on you. There we go. Yeah, yeah it looks better. Okay, that's what I had it originally, but it wasn't going in. That fits like a glove. Okay. Oh, Rex, Rex, uh, Rex explained. Do it, do it on the stream. He was talking about the macro flex cable and amp. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, I think, if anything, I would end up doing it on stream, but... I would also not want to have to pay for it because I just I don't think that amps are necessary really with anything. I am going to do a couple shorts on amps, but since the macro is more involved than just being an amp, uh, I feel like it should have more dedication than a short. Um, what does the amp do? What does an amp do? Well, amplifies, right? Yeah, but you. You're not talking about the sound. Does yeah. It just, oh, really? Yeah. They, they, they would have an amp in there for that? Yeah. I, I'm going to have, I'll show you because I'll have a couple shorts. Uh, I have an order coming from Retro Game Repair Shop that has a bunch of YouTube stuff in it. So, uh, but yeah, I just think amps for Game Boy speakers are a bit overkill. Is there that much of a difference? I have never personally used one. Based off of videos, I'd say there is a bit of a difference, but I don't think it's, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. Especially, uh, everybody should know by now that I never have liked speakers. If you're new here, I don't listen to uh, 
handheld audio 99% of the time. Uh, and I don't include speakers in my macros because I think it's too much hassle for speakers. Yeah. Irwin says, I do like the Helder's amp. It feels nice. It can get loud though. Rux is saying the amp isn't necessary, true, but the flex cable makes a macro conversion nicer easier. looking and easier. Yeah. That is the the reason why I would will recommend it. That's not the right screw, anyways. Uh, it is. I assume it's pretty easy because everything lines up pretty well from what I've seen. Uh, but I have not tried it, so I don't want to put my name behind it yet. Can you? Maybe you've already done this. Can you put a Bluetooth in there to tap into like a surround sound yeah. audio? I did that for a video with the DMG a little bit after uh, the first Austin video where I put a Bluetooth adapter into a DMG and it kept connecting to my surround sound automatically without even doing anything. And the first time I was testing it out and it worked, it started blaring Tetris music in this room and it actually hurt my ears because it was on max volume. <laughs> and the way it works is the DMG volume wheel or whatever, this volume wheel will control the level of the audio, not any remotes or anything. So you can turn this little, this little guy from minimum to maximum volume on whatever you're using. So it was all the way up and those five speakers plus a sub all going off at once was really loud <laughs> it, as much as I love Tetris music it was a bit loud and I kept that in the video because I thought it was funny but so I should probably check that out I probably saw it and just mm -hmm. dad forgot again yeah uh, if you haven't already like and subscribe yeah okay uh, noise says yo yo was was good all in, all in one was good was good yo yeah, yeah Philip says how long how long does it typically take you to do a short from start to finish publish uh, the one from yesterday <laughs> not much time at all uh, in general though it doesn't take me long at all usually I work on Saturdays at the uh, the unicorn farm, and usually it's pretty slow. Not many unicorns are needing to be fed. Um, they don't really eat on Saturdays. Uh, but when it's slow, I will typically edit those shorts then, and it does not take me very long. I don't even know if you've noticed me really editing shorts yeah, yeah but I don't know if you gave them like a t actual time other than generality it will take me only a couple hours the longest part of it is doing the uh, um, doing the recording bit so like th there's one in particular that I've been trying to do for quite a long time and <laughs> it is never panned out so that is taking me a lot of hours but really it doesn't take that long because you, when you're cutting it down in the edit you only can spend a couple seconds on one piece so you cut that and then you skip way ahead to the next thing it doesn't take very long to edit and it doesn't t take very long to shoot either because most of it's pretty quick stuff I would have guessed the edit would have taken the longest I think this is worth skipping forward to and skipping a few of the other people's comments. Okay. Zen says, your dad is awesome. Okay. Thanks, Zen. And thanks, everybody else, for tolerating me today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's see. There was somebody that had a question. Where was it? Um, what do you do? For, uh, DC-147, what do you do for audio in macros? Uh... I don't. <laughs> well, Ru Rux answer uh, doesn't put speaker in my macros. Yeah, I yeah I just I don't think it's worth it. And for when I do sell them, I explicitly say it, and I've only had like one person complain, and they're like, "Well, I don't read the product descriptions of things that I buy." I'm like, "Well, that's the dumbest thing you can do as a consumer. No matter what you buy, you should probably read up on your purchases, especially if it's." 
around a hundred dollars but uh and so that gives people the choice there's a lot of people that make macros i'm not the only one that sells these what? i know that's gonna be bad for my business but i'm not the only person who does these and if you don't like how i do them you don't have to buy them you, you just do the best version of it yeah, yeah i'm the best around <laughs> and no one's gonna ever bring me down <laughs> Uh, DC147 says the unicorn is Scotland's national animal. We know that's where most of ours get exported mm -hmm. to. It's a big part of our business. Yeah. Exported to and from. Yeah. Yeah. Wales has dragons, though. We haven't gotten to the dragon market. Mm -mm. I mean, it's a really a heated market. Yeah, it's very it. competitive. Very, very, very competitive. All right. No, oh, that's who. Yeah, Ruck says I'm surprised Kathleen isn't here. I wonder yeah. if they the, Yeah. They must be doing something. All right. Here it is. Moment of truth. Oh, you should have let me do that. Oh, yeah. These batteries are dead. <laughs> womp, I forgot womp, about that. Womp. Plus, they're Amazon Basics batteries. I don't recommend these. And I also got them as a part of something else for free when I bought something used. These should be charged. So this should work. Boom. Bling. That looks good. Yeah. And we'll grab this. I don't know if I've shown this off since the uh, tweet I made, but this got pretty roughed up uh, from testing all those Game Boys. And I also, because it wasn't just the eight DMGs, I taste tested. I tested and fixed uh, 15 or 16 Game Boy colors. That's where these ones came from. So this guy's gone through a lot, and that's just the stuff I did recently. So I gave him a new shell, new sticker. Boom. Is volume all the way up on that? No, that's pretty loud for like half volume. Must be an amp. Ooh. We have a problem. Screen too high? Yeah. Just a touch, huh? Yeah. That's not good. Hmm. I'll have to go back in and adjust that. Wait. Can you do? Does anybody know how to adjust these? If these are even adjustable? You just shift shift the whole screen down. You mean? Yeah, I think this one might be adjustable. Hmm. I'll have to look into that later, or wait for someone else to respond. So we'll hold off on putting this one up for sale. I might just put them both up for sale at the end. But if anybody knows if this kit, it's the Q5 1.0 kit. If anybody knows if you can adjust these ones, let me know. Otherwise, we'll go back in and adjust the screen position physically afterwards. Manually. J Dog Five Number Five. Hi, Jake and Dad. Just recently discovered your channel. Great content. Keep it up. Greetings from Germany, Deutschland. Hello, and I'm glad you found the channel. And assuming you enjoyed it, I don't know if you said you're enjoying the content. Well, I'm, saying, I'm guessing we can yeah. keep up the good content. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Thank you for watching. Erwin's got the day off and chilling with the fam. Rux, I've thought about selling my purple aluminum macro. I would sell it for about 200 The parts total cost around 150 so of course I would want to make a profit. Well, the, you are just greedy. Ugh. Wow. Wow, I can't believe people... Who would sell stuff for profit? Yeah, why would you ever try and make a profit on something? Ridiculous. This is that is a funny playing screen. Oh, uh, Erwin says I think the V2 is adjustable. Just not sure about the V1. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thankfully I looked into my gold Game Boy. If you guys have been around long enough for that, or at least went back and rewatched the gold Game Boy video, uh, this one is the same kit. This is the original funny playing kit. Uh, this one does not require any soldering as far as I knew, and uh, this one I went back and looked at the inside of that, so this should line up perfectly. I should I shouldn't mess up on this at all. And you're saying no soldering, you're saying just for the screen or the whole mod? The whole mod, there shouldn't be any soldering. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. I, it's been a long time a since I've done that. 
demonetized. Mm -hmm. Have I heard the song that that comes from? Uh, I think so. Isn't that Nickelback? Is that Nickelback? I don't know. Somebody out there, let us know. Hmm. <laughs> if you can get it from that quick little bit. I just always assumed it was a country song, so that's pretty on brand for you. No, I'm pretty eclectic. I like Nickelback. I like Nickelback, too. But what have you been listening to lately? Been listening to a lot of... Uh, now I'm blanking on his <laughs> name. Old Blue Eyes? Yeah, I'm still blanking on his name. Uh, uh, Ricky Martin is the name that keeps <laughs> popping in my head, and I know it's not right. I, yeah, I don't think that's going to come to me. Mm. They're, they're Frank Sinatra. Oh, I was going to say, they're all screaming at you right now. Yeah. Frank Sinatra. I've been listening to a lot of him. He did it his way. So well, That was another thing I was talking to my mom about. I'm sure she cared a lot about it. Uh, but I just find it very interesting that like with old recordings of songs like that, it I never really noticed the the sound difference. I've always thought that uh, microphone technology hasn't advanced like too crazy yet. But listening to that song, it could definitely use a remaster, a retro remaster. It's uh, you can hear a lot of the grain, and it's harder to hear the individual sounds of all the instruments in the background. Uh, Frank's voice is good, frankly, but it's I just this I assume that you could isolate the voice and uh, re-record the music, and that would sound a lot better. I feel like. Maybe there is a recording of that out there, and Spotify is just serving me the old, worst one. Oh, there's got to be digitally remastered versions of that. Yeah, think. especially Frank Sinatra. I don't know. I don't know. All right, more trimming. So that look, that speaker looks different than the one that. Yeah, this is an original okay. speaker. So this one's still good, but I'm assuming I bought this lot from somebody who thought they could repair all this stuff and could not. It's very common. So where do you see your likes on there? Uh, I have to flip it to the other side. Let's uh, check the likes here. 56 people in here right now and 38 likes. Hmm. Come on, peeps. Not quite right. Am I dragging you down? Don't answer that. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to minimize there. Yeah. Uh, what's the thing that Carlos sent? What is that? Carlos sent his dab. Uh, Remember, you're bringing that back. Oh, yeah. 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 Irwin. I have this. Oh, I have his vinyl collection. His rendition of Hello, Dolly with Count Bessie is fire. 39 likes, Rux says. DC-147 failing to mod slash repair stuff is pretty common. Yeah? Yeah? Mm-mm. And cry face emoji. If you, uh... If you're a member, there's a brand new members only video. It's also out for patrons, but... Uh... I typically just say member because I'm trying to push people to become members because you get a little bit extra benefits for the same money uh, even though I think I make more money from patreon I don't know what the revenue split is there uh, but I think it's just better to be a member over a patron also makes my life a little bit easier because I can make the videos for members just members only and uh, the um, the Normal subscribers won't see it at all. Rocks. Rocks. I start talking about memberships, and they are. 
I am. But the thank you, by the way. <laughs> uh, but the reason why I brought up the members' videos is because uh, the newest one may or may not be a failure attempt at mo or fixing a special edition Game Boy. So, yeah, if you want to check that out. Uh, it's not really my fault, but I don't want to spoil anything. Only, like, one person has watched it so far out of the, like, almost 20 members and <laughs> patrons, but that's all right. Maybe they're emotionally preparing for it. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if it's, like, a... Is it hard for people to see it? I don't know, because I don't know how many people are uh, easily seeing it, if it pops up in your subscription feed or what. But if you are a member and you weren't aware, there is a video out for you guys right now. Uh, let's see. Carlos, no, keep out the good work. Keep up the good work, maybe? Probably. Well, Rux has 42 likes now. Uh, Erwin, dude, the Beatles and Mono was pushing Mono's limits, and you feel like you are in the middle of the concert. I like mm -hmm. some Beatles. I, like uh, I love the Beatles. Yeah. Mainly because... In guitar class, that's almost all the songs that we played because they're so easy to play. Been a hard day's night. Uh, Carlos, uh, how do you feel about Dean Martin? I like Dean Martin too. There's a lot of good old class. Okay, okay I got to can I ask your community a question? Go for it. If there's, if you could only listen to one band or one artist the rest of your life, who would it be? I think I asked you this question before. Yeah. Right? And I'm if I remember right, Eminem. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And do you remember who I said? It was... I was like, really? I think? I don't remember exactly. Let me think about this. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I was... I, I still don't totally get it, but it's... Uh, oh, my gosh. Long hair. Country singer. Uh, Travis Tritt. Yep, Travis yeah. Tritt. That's, I'm still confused by that one, but... Uh, just he's got good stuff. If you haven't heard Travis Trick, go listen to him. His old stuff. Uh, this membership says Rusk. <laughs> Rux, Rux. Exactly. <laughs> Matt. Matt uh, Ancini. Title is misleading. Made it sound like the circuits would be made of wood. They are if you look closely, Matt. Wink, wink. Mm -hmm. I stole Addy, by the way. <laughs> oh, I need to make her. I sorry. Welcome. I don't know how loud that is for you guys, but that's a a line from my uh, one of my favorite movies. Uh, She's the man. Very underrated movie. Not many people talk about it, but me and my sister both love it a lot. I like a lot. Addie is now a moderator. I did tell her that she could be in Matt's stream the other night. Uh, and I'll, I'll make Samantha a moderator so I can see her messages a little better. But I don't want to make everybody a moderator. Oh, we're hitting... Oh, goodness. The music. I need to adjust the music. Oh, no. I don't know if this will get it demonetized, but we've been listening to the wrong music for... Uh, With the background? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know if this is the one I normally listen to or not. Mm. Uh, let's okay. see. Some of the answers. David Bowie, Mariah Carey, The Beatles. Matt says She's the Man is great. It's it's no number 10. It's no 10 things I hate about oh, you, but yeah, it's yeah. still good. It's been a while since I've... I don't know if I've actually ever seen that one. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> Samantha O says eating lunch with Uncle Jake and Bebop. Hey, Cupcake. Hey, Opie. Okay. I think we're done with that. I uh, guess we, we could solder. Add some solder to the board real quick. <laughs> Rux is to Matt at Matt Ancini. No, only Jake is made of wood. I'm a real boy. <laughs> Karna, patron member number... Oh, yeah, patron, yeah, patron member number eight. Uh, Michael Boatwright. I don't think I actually said thank you or anything. Welcome to the Mod Squad, and thank you very much. 
Uh, there's the members only video. There's actually two up currently. And the next one is uh, gonna have the um, the room tour. People have been asking that for a long time and I've never really wanted to do it because I don't think it fits super well on the channel. Uh, that's really loud. I guess right, so that's just the high parts. Is it that loud? No, it's fine. Uh, sorry, I'm talking about the music if you're wondering what I'm talking about. But uh, room tour is going to be locked behind a paywall. Sorry. I know people aren't going to like that. But wait, what am I doing? There's no soldering involved with this one. Was, uh, one, uh, one, I was going to say, I thought you said no soldering. And two, so you people talked about before you need to get a holder because if there was, man, that thing moves a lot there. This, yeah, well, I have. So here's the thing. Got helping hands right here. It's also covered in flux. Uh, most of the time when I actually need helping hands, i connect them here. Maybe I'm doing it wrong or whatever, but I'm usually trying to pull something off. And when I try and pull something off, the whole thing just goes with it. It's more steady now, but this isn't super helpful when I'm trying to like uh, desolder the cart reader or something. It, that's what I need helping hands for, is when I need a third hand. Usually, I ask Rux to come down and be my helping hand, but... Fire up the personal jet. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's closest, and I guess his sister's closer, but I don't know his sister, so... Okay. Moving all this over here. Also, Matt, if you're in here, you notice how I haven't made fun of you at all during the stream? Should maybe think about that he likes to make fun of me on his streams because he thinks I'm an easy target or something I don't know he's yeah. just a, a big bully bully what it is um, he says get one of the big helping hands with the movable magnetic arms movable magnetic arms <laughs> Samantha said that Op Opal looked at the TV when I said hey cupcake <laughs> Uh, Benjamin Hoffheinz, greetings from Deutschland. <laughs> Rux, I was hoping for the real boy quote. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, and he also said, when's the members only fans opening, Jake? I don't know what that, I get that. It's not appropriate. <laughs> oh. Uh, Michael E., you're welcome. Oh. Wait, what? I don't know. Michael but... You're welcome. Oh, wait, is that hmm. who? Was that? I, that's what I thought, but it was Michael Boatwright, and it would have a little. His name would be in green, and he'd have a Game Boy Micro next to his name. Maybe he changed it. Shape shifting. Okay. D pad. Is the, I have to keep looking over at an actual NES controller. It's only red buttons. I don't know why I'm Tori says cringe. Cringe. L plus Coke plus He's Bozo. being a troll on the internet. Oh. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you might not know this, but we're kind of a positive channel here. We, we Jake we, is. Yeah. We, we. Ruck said he wished I had a private jet. Because the helicopter's not enough. I don't... <laughs> Read Samantha's thing. Uh, ba -boom -boom. Samantha says, when you read my message about her looking at the TV, she waved to you. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Cupcake. We're talking about my, uh, I almost said my nephew. I'm really bad at the whole gender thing. Uh, so my niece, Opal, my sister's daughter, she has just turned one. And she's awesome. She is awesome. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Get a full on board vice, Jake. They are heavier. Okay. Rucks. Yeah. Uh, but I want to quickly talk about this. Earlier I was talking about the texture on the rubber pads. You can see the texture there. It's a checkerboard pattern going on. But that's what it should look like. You'll get a better reading of your button presses. With I these. thought you were talking about the white, the translucent part. No, the, the black yeah, dot yeah. of the checkerboard. Okay, I don't think that we'll have to do any trimming here 
it should just fit in. Maybe you have to trim one or two of the posts. Michael E said that was him. He just did it under the wrong account. So one sec, LOL. Okay. You should be able to cancel it and redo it with another account. Or have both. Or have both. Either way. But I'm not going to say that you should do that. Okay. Peel this back. I instantly regret doing that because I don't have the screen lens ready. Or the sticker ready. Yeah, this was a mistake. Okay. Uh, which side is the sticky side? First time modding? Yeah. I'm getting distracted by all the talking. That's not the greatest. But, okay. Let's get this, this done. Ruck says I work next to an airport that has pilot training. So I could start pilot license school. L U L? Lull. Lull. DC 147. I remember when my niece was one. She's now nearly finished high school. Jeez. Yeah, it happens too fast. Welcome back, Michael. Welcome back. I understand if you want to cancel your other account subscription. <laughs> It's not going to hurt me in any way, so don't worry about it. If that was a worry of yours. If you were mad, it wouldn't be a worry of yours. I don't know how to say that name at all. I'll let you read that one. Uh. Yep. <laughs> I I I Nikolai. You were doing very hood, bro. Very good, I'm assuming. Thank you. Oh, yes, this is the one and only DJ Ames. It is. Howdy, crowd. Uh, Nether Whisperer, uh, see how quickly you can answer this one. Are you a Star Wars fan? Yeah. Took you a moment. You're going to ask me what I think about Obi-Wan? I'm assuming Will is already out... I'm not going to give spoilers anyways, but I liked Obi-Wan a lot, the first two episodes. I don't know why people are saying it's bad. Maybe I just saw a few a few angry people on Twitter, which is very common, uh, very much a possibility. But I really liked the first two episodes of Obi-Wan, and I'm excited to see where it goes. He's one of my favorite characters, Anakin is my favorite character, so seeing where that story goes i'm very excited i'm confused people on the internet get worked up yeah that's weird i've never gotten worked up about anything like the analog pocket i wasn't angry about that at no. all that was me just getting warmed up that's jake full of rage mm -hmm. all the time mm -hmm. just don't watch me play rainbow Okay. This screen is smaller than uh, the uh, the other ones that we normally do. It's going to be the same size, I believe, as the original screen. This, the screen itself is much bigger, but what you actually see and what actually displays the game is going to be about the same size as the original display. And should be able to, might want to cover your ears in three, two, one. I don't know how loud that comes up on the mic. And that was pretty dang flawless there. <laughs> Rucks off to make another DJ Ames account. Obi-Wan's first two episodes were good, in my opinion. Another whisper, it was the best. Carlos Dennis, yes, it was. It's awesome. I liked it a lot. Uh, Smith O, do you really answer the question? Did you already answer the question about whether or not you like cheese? Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. I'm on the edge of my seat regarding that cheese question. <laughs> <laughs> the suspense uh, is killing me. My yes. sister, ladies and gentlemen. Even uh -huh. though she knows that. It's the only topping I get on my pizza. <laughs> Well, that's not true. I get extra cheese, too. Mm-hmm. 
And then sometimes you'll cut the cheese. Yeah, well, a lot of the time I cut the mm -hmm. cheese. Uh, Rux says, I want more Mace Windu. Yes. What's that? That's oh, a, that a character in Star Wars. Yeah, it's Samuel L. Jackson's character. Gotcha. Sorry, folks, I'm not a Star Wars person. No, but he has sat through a few of them for me. So. If there was one movie that I sat through and watched that I would never, ever want to see in my life again, could you name it? That's probably one of the Pokemon movies. Mm, no, this one tops that. Really? And you should know Fredward Dose. Oh, Fred? Yes. The Fred movie? Oh, my god! Those are hilarious. No. No. Hey, you should be lucky that I didn't force you to watch the actual YouTube videos of his. Because they tone down his high-pitchedness in the movies. It's like... Uh, remember the... Um, what's it called? The, the Chipmunks? Alvin mm -hmm. and the Chipmunks? It was like that level of high-pitchedness. Mm -hmm. Okay, funny playing. Wow. Okay. See anything wrong with this? Can you tell what's wrong here? Tip, tip it towards me. Oh, the there. little, that spot on the yeah. pins? So they pre-soldered this, so it's not supposed to have any soldering required, right? Well, they got some solder bridging the cables, or the pins on the cable. That's ridiculous. Hmm. Are you going to try to just leave it? No, because it won't work. Oh. So, they're lucky that that one went to me. We're gonna... That won't do any harm to the pins? Well, we gotta remove it. <laughs> so. Hmm. The solder should be fine in reality, but we just have to make it so they're not bridging each other. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, I, I tried scrape. Sometimes you can just flick uh, fl or solder off of things that don't adhere to solder, but since that does adhere to solder, it uh, needs to be worked on. We're going to bring out the pen again. Pen again. You like F-16 or F-22 Raptor, says the Irunoi Nikolai. I don't know what you're referring to. It's a random question. So I will not answer it. Rux, you are louder, LOL. I love cheese, lactose intolerance, and IBS makes me cut back on it. <laughs> that makes sense. And he says, oh, Lord, Fred, that's a YouTube classic. It is. Yeah. I think it's also torture for... Parents. Everybody. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. These pins are so thin that no matter how clean my tip is, I think I got it there. You don't really want solder on these pins, but... Still looks like there's some from this angle, but... Yeah, it's still bridging, dude. Oh, my gosh. Why do they have to do this? And as far as I know, this is the only solution. These are for sale. Eventually. Dude, and it just keeps... Solder won't come off of the tip. I also really need to replace that copper ball. Okay. I think we're good on the bridging front here. Sorry I'm not showing this on camera, but it's all like microscopic anyways. So. Meat Lovers Pizza with us, to be honest, Erwin Rosales. Uh, meat Lovers is the way to go. Bridge pins. Oh no. There seems to be a bit of bridging on the pins. Oof. Oh wowza. There is solder in the pin. Rapid fire there, sorry. That's fine. Yeah. Nether, Nether Whisperer at Rux. Well, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. <laughs> I think hmm. they're being facetious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I still don't. I, the hard to pronounce name says it's hard. It's for you or for a friend? It, it is for sale. That's what I started to... I went off the rails and answered that one on my own. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. I may have cracked that screen. I think that might have been 
We this might not work out well at all. Okay. Cause there's a bit of an air gap right where I need to press this down. And I heard a crack. I really hope that wasn't the screen. Cause this could be going all sorts of wrong right now. <laughs> that would be the last thing that I want. So we're gonna try this. A little test just to see if the screen cracked. Yeah, well just to see if <laughs> it's not bridging the pins mm -hmm. and if the screen cracked, all of it. So in case the sparks fly. Yeah. Where's the back? Oh, I've got to put the freaking back half together. Man. Actually, where's the... Yeah, that's dirty. I don't want to dirty it up. Oh, yeah. Where's the back half? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Let's put the back half together real quick. We'll... I won't do the RF shield. Um, Erwin says, uh, controversial opinion, Pokemon 2000 is better than... Pokemon the movie, first movie. Uh, yeah, I could see that. I don't know. I've always been a fan of the first one. I didn't, I didn't own the the second movie, the two thousand. So, I didn't watch it as much as the other ones. But Pokemon Forever and the Latios Latios movie, those ones I've watched a lot, along with the. Uh, what's it called the first one because those are the ones i owned as a child and i still think we own them somewhere yay samantha says she didn't realize there's music because you talk too loud i don't know if it's cracked or if i just don't have the ribbon cable connected properly i don't see any crack no but it could be cracked down. oh I think it is cracked. Where, oh, right there? No, that's that's a part of this this part. But you can see there's. Oh, that could also be from the shorting too, though. There's either a crack down here. Oh, sorry, I'm way zoomed in. My apologies. Uh, there's either a crack down here, which I I think that is the case, or the pins being. Sh uh, connected, bridging. bridged at the. I think there's just a crack. I think that's what it is. Cause. Where is it? Right there? Yeah, I think there's just a crack. We can, uh,. Turn it off, open it up, and see. We might just not have any Game Boys for sale this time. <laughs> Again. Why is it always the Game Boy Colors? I've cursed you. Sorry. No, it's the Game Boy Colors. Uh, Luke says those movies are amazing. Rux, I stopped watching Pokemon after jo Johto. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I'm thinking the ribbon cable. Try some solder wick. Yeah, I can try that. Is that the braided thing? Mm hmm. But I'm going to peel this back and see if it's just the screen because I have a feeling that I cracked the screen. I didn't hear it crack, but you got better hearing than. Uh, Wah. It's just also tough to do this without. Breaking the shell. Breaking the, the screen. You can do it. I just I don't want to. Yeah. Mm. I'm just breaking the entire screen. I think it is cracked because I'm just breaking the entire screen. Oh, you're separating it? Yeah. And usually that is really easy to do once the screen is cracked down the edges. I think this whole thing is just, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not good. <laughs> so 
So we're gonna take the screen lens out. And get some fingerprints on the screen here. Man, that tape is strong. strong. Yeah. Now watch you do all this and oh it wasn't broken. Yeah. I don't see any cracks. Yeah, who called it? But getting the screen lens attached to there. Michael E says first, I'm assuming he's talking about oh yeah, because next I stopped watching after Unova. Unova, yeah. That's when I stopped watching the anime. But love the games. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, and there's an emoji or something. I don't know what that is. Samantha says it's about time she became a mod orator. Hmm. You're a little delayed there. You'll have to forgive your sister. Mm -hmm. uh, DC147, I've broken DS light screens like that. Yep. It might not be broken, but the way it was separating when I was trying to get it out, I'm assuming it's not good. But it could also be the bridging. We'll we'll see the crack when I turn it on here. If it is cracked. Yep, it's cracked. Well, it's definitely more cracked now, Where, if anything. Let me see. So, oh, I see it now. Yeah. So we're 0 for 2 today. <laughs> oh, yeah, ooh, you can really see it there. You see the bubble. So maybe I cracked it pulling it out. Uh, I have a feeling I cracked it before because I didn't hear a crack in when I was pulling it out, but I heard the crack before. So, either way, this whole kit's a dud. I'll have to get another <laughs> mod kit for this. <laughs> I got these mod kits thinking they would work in the Onyx and Gyarados shells, and then they didn't. So then I got these shells because they should work in these shells. And then now the mod kits are broken, so... Uh, Rux is saying that metal shell is just a shield so that separating wouldn't have done it. Oof, though. Did it say that again? The metal shell... It's just a shield. It's just a shield. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. It has nothing the, to do with the functionality. Yeah. Yep. Well, I just... The reason I say it's separating is like I, I don't know if it showed up on cameras. I saw it, I saw all the different pieces separating, like the, the backlight diffuser and all that. And I know once the screen's open, it's a lot easier to <laughs> break the stuff like the glass. But the glass actually isn't broken. The glass that sits on top, it's just the screen on the inside. So the display itself. Yeah, which actually. Hold on, we're gonna see if we can save this real quick. Save the day. Uh, it's, I find it interesting whenever, with not just being here, but watching your streams, whenever something goes awry, your whole community feels it and they're like, oh, no, ah. Mm -hmm. It's like they feel your pain, pain and suffering. Whoa. This should work. Cause it should be the same screen. I believe they're both the LG screens so we're gonna give this a shot and this we'll see if uh, if it does the same thing with the um, what's it called oh if it does it with that line your notes still bridging yeah we'll still probably end up using this screen if we can so let's see here Yep, it was cracked the whole time. The screen? Yeah. Mm. Uh, which I know I cracked that because I heard the crack. So, But, yep. we're back to one for two. Rux called it. Yeah, the LCD sheets are broken. Yeah, DC-147, I empathize definitely. Okay, now we get to have the fun part of getting the fingerprints off of the screen lens. Uh, so, no, I used this one last time and it worked like a charm. Okay. It's 
time is at 1.44. Okay. Yeah, really? Yeah. It goes by fast. It does go by fast. That's why when I mean, you guys are like, wow, that was a long stream. I'm like, it was? There's still more on there. Yeah, I just, you can't tell. The, the soggy part about it being glass is you can't tell if it's on the inside or the outside. Can you put it on both sides and be able to... Absorb? Well, the thing is, you don't want to get... Um, Hey, that was on the outside. You don't want to etch it with the the it'll this will stick to the the sticky part, and some of the sticky part will sometimes oh, okay, get yeah. onto okay that, and then it'll create some big old smudges. Towards so the we're just gonna do plug your ears. Do that, and sorry if there's some smudges on there. The smudges don't show up when uh, when you're playing the game when the screen's on you won't notice I promise <laughs> Anubis I watched the video where you teach your dad how to solder last night he did really good man thank you a little quick study that's him right there if you couldn't tell that's the old screen that's the broken screen okay and peel this off do you need new adhesive or is it? Nope, adhesive should oh, be see, totally, totally fine. Yeah. I thought some of it peeled off with that other. So. I'm going to just lightly press this down this time. It's a good idea. And this time we're also going to do the same thing. We're going to put this on here. So is that the same material as that, uh, what's a Kapton? Uh, no, but it's just, Kapton, you really only do for when you're covering, like, electrical opponents that actually carry a charge. Uh, like, the sticky part doesn't carry electricity. So, that's why I do it there. But this is just all metal, and most of the time you're probably not going to have any shorts when this is touching that. But just to be safe. Just in case. Okay. Yeah. Unless there's something I don't know, the chat can educate me. But The chat? The people? Mm-hmm. A lot of streamers refer to the people watching as chat. Mm. So that's the wrong button. Red buttons for A and B. And everything else is the black buttons. Okay. Put that off to the side. I am all sorts of disorganized today. That's the broken screen, right? Yeah. yeah. That is trash. Uh, there it is. And I should probably go down, and we could have a solder competition with uh, Austin. A solder competition? Yeah, just a solder comp. Like, see who's better at soldering? Just mm. like a... I'll do this. Yeah, because they, they were ripping on him a little bit down there. No, they were ripping on him a lot of bit. Yeah, uh, about the soldering. Mm-hmm. I could take him. I think you could. Matt would know. Matt would know. Matt, who's your money on? I don't know if he's still in here or not, but I'm just going to undo this too. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to leave things in like it's a real shortcut or anything. Plus, things are broken, so I don't want to break anything more. Okay. Boom. And there we go. Now we're going to put some caps on tape. Pfft, just flung some dirt into my face. Uh, add some caps on tape over the top of these, because that's where the pins rest, and you don't want anything shorting there. Where is my? It's right there. Let's zoom in a little bit more so it's not super blown out. And. Well, your mom hasn't commented that I've embarrassed her yet. This is true. Mm. 
Uh, come on now. Still wondering if I'm getting demonetized or not because of the songs from the other video that started playing. I didn't realize we were that close to the end on the, the music because the songs I play are on a 12 hour video so it just picks up where I left off from the last stream oh. and every time it gets close to the end I need to pay attention and start over or whatever so it doesn't just play the same five songs every stream and mix it up a little bit but I'm going to add just a little bit of Kapton tape to that little chip there don't know why they have to have it so far up there just to make me do a little bit more capped on tape and then that should be that boom should be able to put the rest of it together and it should actually work this time I gotta peel this off chat got quiet chat did get quiet Probably because it's towards the end of the stream, which usually that's when people get quiet. We still got 53 people in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's finish this up. This one goes on the other side. I think I might re-solder that just because... Actually... I don't know if it'll reach the IR port. We'll see. Oh, okay. yeah. Put everything down like that. Finally start to button this up and hopefully get this one of them listed. Do this on camera. I'm gonna push really hard around that screen area. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Fingers crossed, said Michael. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, Erwin says, I didn't really notice any song at the start of the live stream, to be honest. Uh, yeah. DC 147, it's nearly 10 p.m. for me. I have already begun to slow down for the evening. Hmm. Well, it's not. Haha, <laughs> Mom, not any more embarrassed than usual. My first wife, she's funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not too bad for getting in there a bunch. Let's, I was going to use my shirt. Let's use this real quick. Sorry, you get my breath included with this. I'm just swirling all the fingerprints around right now, but other than all the yellow bits of dust coming off of the microfiber cloth, I don't think there's really anything on the inside, so I think it did a pretty good job there. What were you saying, that one cable reaching something? Oh, right here, which... Uh, okay. So, I think I'm going to try resoldering this, the touch sensor here, just because I want it to reach the touch sensor, but I'd have to slide it around, and I don't know if that will oh. even reach then. We'll give it a shot, though. Give it a shot. Since we already had to do soldering to this no soldering kit. Rux, I decided to start soldering. Rux decided to start soldering? Mm-hmm. What are you soldering? What? Yeah, what are you soldering? That's kind of my thing. I think it's rude that you're stealing my thing. Yeah. Especially while I'm live streaming it. Come on, man. Adorable Psycho 7. This is the first time I've actually been able to make it to one of these. I'm glad I was able to. We are too. Well, especially Jake. Yeah. I'm just a guest. I, I always love when new people come in. I don't know if that's going to reach. Sorry, I said that very unenthusiastically. Yeah, I don't think that's going to reach still, so. I kind of want to add a little bit of a wire to it. Just so it can reach. And I think I will do that. Uh, oh, see. yeah, I did see your one stream. You need better wire strippers than what you had for those fine wires. Yeah, I don't have one that's small enough. Let's go ahead and eh, I'm gonna do it the right way. So Mako it's, would be proud. Yeah, it's not like the end of the world because like 
this is as small as it goes, mm. but which is too big for the the tiny tiny wire that I use, as I can't get it to feed through the right hole. But yeah, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. So much wiggle room the, there, so I I really don't need much on this one. So I'm gonna just do that. Rux was soldering a speaker uh, into my GBC. I tried a different speaker a few weeks ago and regretted it. LOL. This is about all the length we need on there. Because so, I'm just going to attach it to there. Give it a little bit more room to breathe. So we can attach it to the IR cover. And it's actually easy to... Uh, easier to press the sensor. Grab the tweezers. I need new tweezers too. These have been through a lot. Now this is not going to be a simple thing. And yes, this is probably dumb. I could instead use like copper tape or just attach this to a different part of the shell, but I think that this is the better way to go. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some solder to my tip here. Where my solder go? It's too bad you couldn't put something underneath there just to set it onto. Because isn't, isn't this what Mako is ripping you on, is doing it over that cable? Uh, no, he's ripping me for doing it over the screen. It looks like it's going. Cool. There we go. So. Is it the best practice? No. Does it work? Yes. Is it going to hurt anything? No. Well, we'll see if it's going to work. Uh, where's the... There it is. But the second part about this is uh, this advanced, this GBA kit no longer has a screen anymore. No longer has a screen anymore. Mm hmm Oh, yeah. And? You gonna wrap that or something? I just put the double-sided tape and... Oh, to hold it in place. Yeah. There you go. It's the only thing that's actually thin enough to keep the touch sensor working properly while adhering it to something else. So, so I'm gonna grab the touch sensor and put it on the touch sensor first. So it'll be a lot easier to peel the other half of it off this way. Tweezers? Yeah. Have a bit more control with my fingernails. Okay. Now we can stick that down there. And should, oops, I did it wrong. And there we go. <laughs> it just disconnected. So that wasn't properly connected, but it's easier to connect it to this one. So it's not the end of the world. We'll set that in there and we can resolder this pretty easily. Okay. And. I think next mod Monday is going to be Whew. smooth because you've had like two or three in a row where it's like stumbled. not smooth. Yeah. yeah. So you're due for a I'm due steady for a smooth. smooth stream. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't get shorted out on the. Yeah, let's bring that up a little bit. I don't want that to short on the shielding of the screen. DC-147, I didn't realize those screens were the same as the GBA kits. Depends on the model, or depends on the mod kit, but this one is. A lot of the mod kits use the uh, the LG screen, so, which is the same as the, what's it called? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm blanking. The, um... Blackberry screens that I mentioned in the Austin video. That's what I was trying to go for. 
Now we still got to put the RF shielding on here, which I don't think is probably necessary, but it probably keeps some dirt out of the uh, out of the Game Boy. Okay, got two of them there. Gotta swap over to the other bit though. Yeah, most of the time they reuse the same screens as long as they fit inside of the. Where's the? I need the RF shield. Uh, they'll reuse the screens. It's just different ribbon cables because one, you gotta be able to plug it into the correct port because the GBA and the SP and the GBC all have different connections. But also, the chips that are on those boards will tell the screen to only output to the certain posts and I need to swap to a different bit so I don't strip those. Rux is commenting on the screens Blackberry. The Q5 screens. The Blackberry comes from, oh. I don't know what ass fake is. Uh, it is as far as I know. Uh, as far as I know, that's what it is. I knew that's why I had you look up there because I didn't know what he was talking about. Yeah. It's that one I always stumble on when I see that. As far as I know. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of screws attaching there. I don't remember who it was earlier in the stream said hopefully they were quick enough to click in on buying one, but today may be your day. Yeah, because everybody's <laughs> left. I mean, there's still 50 people in here. Thank you for those who've stuck around, but compared to the normal midstream numbers. I really dislike these screws. Okay. I'm using the correct bit. I used JIS. Because the Phil it did work better than the Phillips, even though these are aftermarket screws, so they could make them actually Phillips. <sighs> okay. Now we got to put it back together. Two... The two halves together, we'll test it one more time before we screw it all together. And boom. Oh, that looks good. The gray and the black looks good. Mm hmm Normally I'm not a huge fan of like because a lot of people will take the uh, uh, the DMG look, the original Game Boy look and put it on all the different models of Game Boy. James E. Plays does it the best. I've lost my tri-wing bit. There it is. Uh, James E. Plays does it very well, very cleanly. But the ones that are made by like the mass production companies, I just don't really like those. You're talking about the front and the back? Yeah, so like this one, it's made to look like the NES mm -hmm. controller. Mm -hmm. and you can See that one over there for reference, but yes. Uh, but the um, there's a bunch of companies like Extreme makes this one, but other companies will make one that looks like the style of the original Big Game Boy, like that one that's mm -hmm. cut up over there that we won't show because it's a future video. Uh, and I'm not a huge fan of them because they don't do it well. But Jamesy e does it very cleanly, and it's not like super in your face about it. I don't know, that looks good. Yeah. I don't know why it kind of reminds me of Star Wars -y stuff. It does. It's very like uh, Imperial Trooper yeah. style. You have no idea what I'm talking about. No. No. Darth Vader people. Stormtroopers, but like not obviously not Stormtroopers, it's not white and black, but the uh, the other, like the generals, the look of mm, the inside yeah, yeah. of yeah, the Dar yeah. Death Star. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of like on Spaceballs. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see. Uh, Ruck says, yeah, the extra board acts as an interpreter between the ARM processor on the Game Boy and the screen so that the screen knows how to display the image. Erwin, what tipped me over, tipped me over to this slate of, was Mako, uh, Mako uh, mentioning that the slate kit has newly manufactured LG screens. Yup. And 
Anubis agrees that's clean. It's very clean. Uh, let's see. That's Rux crazy. continues and also handles the brightness and filter settings and scaling. Mm-hmm. We got some ooh that looks fire. Yes, who says that? Erwin. Love the re the retro design. Me too. Um, Anubis says sexy AF. I don't know what the... Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Carlos Dennis, that one looks nice. Yes, it does. Anubis. Pew, 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 pew. pew. That one's right there. Okay. Boom. Sticker is in. And where? There it is. Slide that in there. Boom. Let's make sure that the uh, buttons all work. Dang, Start, that looks good. Select B, A, right, left, up, down. Boom. One thing I really, really like about Extreme Rate, and at first I didn't, but now that I've worked with uh, a lot more Game Boys, I really like that they make the start and select buttons hard, like they're actual plastic instead of the silicone, and like because they're all membranes normally. I really like having the all plastic of it. Yeah, it's the that same color as the wood one, but that's nice. That's crisp. This versus having this is so much nicer because this will kind of smush down sometimes oh. you have to dig your fingernail in there oh i thought you meant like hard hard to push you're talking about the no, actual hard plastic, plastic okay. yeah because this is all just the silicone of the membrane so okay uh rux yeah i have an unbranded q5 v2 kit for my gbc he uses the same screen just a different driver board than what funny playing uses it has two touch sensors instead of one Michael E. Spicy. 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 People, get ready. It's going up for sale. It is going up for sale. And if you... What, what do I normally tell the people that are really wanting this stuff? Get your fingers ready. Yeah. And um, what's the tip I give them? Uh, refresh. Mm -hmm. Refresh. Refresh. Anubis, I think that's my favorite one you've built so far. I, I might it's be very with you. clean. At first, like... Because this was sent to me by Extreme Rate. Uh... Thank you to them, uh, which there's also a link in the description, and you can find that these for 10% off if you want to do it yourself, if you miss out, whatever. Um, but give me a second here. Uh, the It's hard to think and post this at the same time. Uh, but refresh right now because there's a 10 second delay as I'm adding this to the website, but uh, I was when I was picking these out because they asked me what shells I wanted. Uh, I picked this out and I was like, I don't know how I feel about it. But seeing it in person, the pictures don't do it justice. That's what I'm wondering if it shows up as crisp. But it, I mean, it looks looking at your screen and looking at that the thing is it's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Samantha says she's getting it first. She's refreshing right now. <laughs> and Rux noticed the hard start and select buttons earlier. I like that as well. Karna, uh, this the last one for the night? Question mark? Uh, I don't... It's getting... I mean, it's been two hours now. I'm starting to think maybe I should just do the wood one off camera. But if, if someone really wants the wood one, I can fix it real quick on, on camera. And we can post that one. So if you want it, type in the chat. But also, uh, the NES one is about to go live. <laughs> Yum Yum Raison says, what's the best screen mod for the GB Pocket? That is the one I don't have an answer for, and it's live. Uh, I'm going to put on my ringer so you can hear the cha-ching. But I don't really have a good answer for the Game Boy Pocket. I'd assume just the funny playing one that's sort of like this one with the LG screen. But I don't really have a good answer for you. Uh, I wish I, I wish I did, because <laughs> I don't really do a ton of pocket stuff because I haven't found a uh, one I'm satisfied with. The one I did a review on, that's in my personal one, it's great, but I didn't like the soldering for it, like I said earlier. So, Karnas says I'll wait for an SP another day. Ten out of ten on the job. Anubis says. Uh, Rux says, how long ago did the pink one sell, Jake? Uh 
last week? It was... I don't remember. Well, what video was it? It sold a couple days before... I think it was the macro tutorial, so... Not the last week, but the week before. Two weeks ago-ish. Mm. I sold, like, right after I shot and edited the video where I said, you can buy it because it's still available. And then it wasn't for the video. Yeah. And that's another one. I think that when you see that one in person, it looked better than what it showed on, mm -hmm. on the screen. And honestly, I'm not, like, a huge pink fan, but I, I really like that one. Can we name this one Groot? Sure. That's the Groot boy. I was calling it the Wood Boy for the screen, or the, the screen, the stream title. But we're going to put the bat trees back in here and see. I think we have some dying batteries here too. Somebody said wood one, please. Okay, we'll fix the wood one. It just needs to come down a slight bit. I think I cut something that I wasn't supposed to cut. Hopefully we can remove this without breaking the screen. <laughs> but I don't think... I think we can do it without breaking the screen. It's too bad you couldn't heat that up a little bit. To... It probably could. I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Like, I could also spray some IPA in there to loosen the, the stickiness of the thing, but you don't want to spray a bunch of IPA around the screen. So it's gonna get in there. Everybody knows that. Yeah, I learned that one the hard way. Uh, Ruck said, "Oh, is there when I look when I watched that video? Yum yum raisin. Will there be a GB micro mod soon? I know it's a niche console, the most difficult to find and the most expensive console. I don't think there's ever gonna be a mod for that because not." Many oh, it's just not enough market. Yeah, nobody really needs one for that. Just because there's a, it's already got a really good screen, and if you're gonna make it bigger, then there's no point because there's just not much room in the thing as a whole. I'm just gonna peel this back. Karna says, "Call it the grain boy." The grain boy. Good grain. Okay, now I gotta. Take this, put the battery over there. Uh, Your station's a mess. Yeah. I mean, you have to do all this trimming and stuff. Yeah, you don't really get to see the the surrounding stuff, but this is the, pretty much how messy it gets. I think it's a little bit messier than normal, but it gets pretty messy. Especially when you got two of them. And I do hear the trucks a little bit that you're talking about, but they're not as loud. Yeah. They're, they're louder here than they are watching okay. the stream. I just, because people with headphones notice everything more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't break the screen, please. Oh, the rust. The IPA could ruin the screen. Uh, if you care going to make it bigger, Oh, if you are going to make it bigger, you might as well make a GBA or Game Boy Macro. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can... So I don't really want to do anything. I obviously don't want to crack it. But I also don't want to get any fingerprints on it. What's crazy is just a... It's so, so sticky. So, oh, I was going to say, it's really not that far off. It's just... No. But I know your particular... Well, it's just... It, it does cut off quite a bit. Hmm. Talk about particular. You get it from your father. Okay. Who was your first starter in Pokemon games? Chimchar. I didn't start playing Pokemon until Gen 4. And Infernape is probably my favorite Pokemon of all time. Uh, we're going to see. Like that's the thing is, if I remove the screen, I'm still attached by the the wires. So I think I'm just gonna try and do this all without detaching it. It shouldn't be a huge problem.
can you push on that screen with your my, with your microfiber so you don't do fingerprints? It's pretty genius. I'm a thinker. Oh, I'm so nervous. Mm -hmm. Can we get some praying hands emojis in the chat? Yeah. Grain boy cedar. <laughs> This one's more stuck than the last one. No one bought the uh, the NES one. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Dude, I thought that thing would fly out of here. Code. It's like stuck, stuck in there. <sighs> Man. Oh, there you go. I was hoping that was the sticker breaking free and not anything cracking. It sounded like sticker. A lot of praying hands emojis. Uh, I don't know how you say it. Infern Infernape. Infernape was m more and more too many bipedal fire starters focused on martial arts, in my opinion. Well, I am a martial artist, so I was. I haven't done karate in a long time. This is mostly Anubis that's referring to this, and he said that they said mine was Bulbasaur, Pokemon Red. Yeah. Okay. Think I've got it. The sticker is attached to the screen pretty well, but we can just tear that. And it looks like you didn't touch the actual screen. Yeah. I don't think there's any. There's some dust on there. For sure. <laughs> Michael, you am literally tensing up so bad every time you push on the screen. Yeah. Maybe. It's... <laughs> Imagine how I feel right now. <laughs> it's not fun. So we got to take these tabs out too. Which I, I would have assumed, being the smaller screen, you wouldn't have it pushed so freaking low. Which ones? These tabs oh. here. Where did my flash card go? Yum Yum Raison says it may be Grain Boy, but it's the most it is it's the most beautiful handheld Nintendo ever made. It is made of a metal shell and they managed to cramp all that GBA into a smallest handheld. Oh the the micro, yeah. Uh oh. I thought I just the... it's just not comfortable for me. I like I'm not gonna hate on anybody for liking what they like. Uh I just, I don't like it because I like to be able to play for a while, and that's not good for long play sessions. So, okay, this is the nervousing part. Uh, we're going to lightly put this down. And... Oh, and then light it up and see? Yeah. So you know I'm not into the Pokemon stuff. Is Pokemon Go still a thing? People still play it, but it's not very common. Mm. Uh, Erwin, his was uh, Charmander. Charmander. Mm -hmm. Char is it Charmander? Charmander. Charmander. He just mm -hmm. missed the in there. Threw me off. Uh, not ripping on you. Just making sure I get it right because I know that people who like their Pokemon love their Pokemon. Uh, Ruck says the first game I didn't do a grass type charter was Froakie from Gen 6. Michael E. Mine was Squirtle Fire Red. Okay, so that's off too. Too low? Yeah. That's not the end of the world because it is at the very base. But I will scooch it up just a little bit here. Oh, this has the... That's funny. You can... Uh, oops. Short its thumb out. How do you know that? Because the screen went out. Oh. So... Light it up again, because I want to get it right. But it's funny. So the... 
the red bar for the light up screens is still there. So they're using the updated uh, cable which tells it to do that. So if you had a screen lens that has the cutout for uh, the, logo. The, the logo, you could do it. You'd also have to cut out the uh, the shell too. And that is going to be about as good as I can get it. Woo! Only slightly, majorly nerve-wracking. So yeah, this doesn't... I wouldn't recommend this kit for these shells. Even though I swear I used these shells, or this kit for these shells. It lines up with the very base of those tabs I just cut. So you still have to cut them, you just don't want to go past them. Very interesting. You don't want to lay the screen past them. Yeah. See the edge lines up mm -hmm. with it? I don't know if you can see that. You can kind of see that little nub. Yeah. But I'm not going to jack with it anymore. I'm just going to press it down a little bit more so it doesn't move around. And we can reinsert some buttons here. Woo! Uh, DC 147 man, you know what would be cool if Nintendo made a GBA reissue with built-in ROMs like the SNES Mini, but for GB and GBA games? I made a tweet about this before. It was geared towards the uh, original Game Boy, but I said the real reason why Nintendo's never made a Game Boy Classic system yet is because of uh, modders like me. They they have to be aware of this situation. There's no way they're not. Uh, I know they don't like it. <laughs> I don't know about that because it still creates a buzz. With no, no, they don't. No, they Nintendo is very traditional. Any business that goes outside of them, no, they don't mm. like it. It took them years to allow creators to like people streaming their games and stuff. They didn't let you stream it and make money for years that's just crazy because this i guarantee you this generates more business for them mm -hmm. the one of the biggest games they've ever made the i'm just gonna turn this off <laughs> uh one of the biggest games they ever made uh huge success breath of the wild it's a zelda game uh they even during that time which was the beginning of the switch 2017 you could not stream that game without getting demonetized and sometimes they would even take people's streams down completely. Yeah. And you could be a part of the ambassador program where then they would approve you on a, like a interview style basis. I don't think you had to fully interview them, but they'd take a look at your channel, make sure they were they, you were their style. And then you could be monetized. The, you know, that, that all reminds me of it instantly makes me think of... Um, American Idol, when American Idol first started, there was limited songs because the artists didn't want people doing their songs. Now they're like, oh yeah, do my songs, do my songs, because mm -hmm. what does it do? It creates a buzz, yeah. and, right? So That's the whole thing with TikTok nowadays. TikTok, you can put any song you freaking want on there, but I still can't play, I can't play Eminem, I can't play Mariah Carey or Travis Tritt. Their labels would strike it down and take all my revenue. But there's really no way, because of the way TikTok does it, there's no way for you to monetize your TikTok account. There's just the creator fund. Hmm. So you're not monetizing the use of their songs. Your TikTok is just giving you money for getting views. Hmm. It's just a like a Christmas bonus, but that's the only way you get paid unless you get outside sponsorships. Because it's all pooled? Yes. Hmm. And so that's their workaround. That's why there's no real monetization on it. Plus, no advertiser is going to want to put a an ad in front of a video that's probably going to be shorter than their ad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And nobody wants to watch it too. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I'm going to probably say this wrong. Enel Saga. The original GBA will always be the most comfortable of all the Game Boys. And Anubis says, I, I do like being able to play with one hand with the SP though. Yes. Erwin, when I did the pocket color by 
boxy pixel mine was slightly higher it was version v2 so i could have adjusted but the boxy pixel pixel uses sensors in a weird way yeah i not to spoil any future videos here but i'm going to be doing i hate to say it because i wouldn't mind trying the boxy pixel one i'm not trying to punch down on them but uh i'm going to do the real version of the game boy pocket color where I put, I modify a Game Boy Color motherboard to fit it into an actual Game Boy Pocket shell. So we have a color screen in the Game Boy Pocket. Shout out to Natalie the Nerd. Her package is on the way to me. Where it's got a, it's got a couple of goodies in there. So, be excited for that. Because it's going to be a really cool video. And let's test this out. You got anything else to say? Uh, let's see, we'll catch up real quick before you turn it on. Michael E., my blood pressure is up. I can only imagine how you feel. Yes, that was mm -hmm. pretty intense. Uh, Karna, Nintendo is super traditional Japanese company with an iron fist. Anubis, ha, yep. Rux, they are an old-fashioned Japanese company, and Japanese companies have a complete different idea of fair use and the idea of copyright. Rux follows up, says Nintendo is getting better at it, though. Yeah. Karna, I think they took 50% of revenue from creators as well. Back, Oh, back in the day? Yeah, probably. They, they used to be really strict Pokemon YouTubers. R really strict on you Pokemon YouTubers. Yeah. I remember that. The N Nuzlocke peeps. I don't know what that is. It's a fan-created hard mode for Pokemon, because it's still geared towards children, so they don't make it very hard. Mm. And, uh, it's where you, if your Pokemon faints in battle, it's dead and you can no longer use it. And you're only allowed to, every new section of the game, you're only allowed to catch one Pokemon from each section. And I believe if you don't catch the Pokemon, it has to be the first person, or the first Pokemon that you uh, see in that area. So you can't pick and choose. And you have to go with what cards you're dealt. I've never done one, but I've always wanted to do one. Hi, Jake. I finished my Game Boy. I just need to take pictures to show you CBK. Cool. Tag me. Uh, also, the whole reason I started the whole Mod Monday thing uh, is I wanted people to use the hashtag Mod Monday, but no one has. And even I, I've been guilty of not using the hashtag, but... Uh, if you want to post it with that hashtag, that would make me feel really nice. Build it up. <sighs> All right, moment of truth time. How come I don't get to turn any of these on? Sorry. Well, that fits like perfectly because the screen lens comes out a little bit. That's, That's good. Perfect. Yeah, Woo. and the uh, the button color against that looks good. Mm-hmm. But the one thing I really don't like about these shells and I, I understand why they do it is uh because the um they want to be able to work with this and this uh which really they they could just make it this big but anyways since these are two different size screens uh they have that border that i cut out of the wood one and you can see when you look to the sides you can see the tabs that poke out from where that border was and i don't know why they don't just have that the hole this size already because the screen lens is going to cover the that part so there's no gap when you use the other mod kits well the screen lens they should just have a little little drop down so it fits within that groove and it would cover up all those yeah or that's why I like doing the laminated kits so you don't have to worry about dust or on the screen or anything like that, no fingerprints, and there's not that air gap there, so it looks just even cleaner. Yum yum, yes, I am his dad. Yes. Proud. Uh Irwin, nice looking nice, looking forward to that video. Anubis, oh that's going to be really cool. Rux modifying a GBC board for the pocket scares me too much to want to do it. Philip, I respectfully disagree, Jake, about the Game Boy Classic situation. I think Nintendo could make a modern Game Boy for a good price, and it would sell since there are, their target audience are general gamers. 
Yeah. And I think they would sell more in terms of quantity and sales than anyone has done in the Game Boy modding community. That no, I told like I would still buy one one hundred percent. Uh but I just think with what we can do, I think especially with, with the stuff that I know is on the horizon, I can't say it, but uh we could make a better one than Nintendo would. Because we the community puts way more effort into these things and they they just care a lot more about this stuff than Nintendo does, which is kind of sad that we care more about Nintendo's history than they do. Uh, but there's a lot of cool things coming up that people should get excited for. Because for a while, I was thinking that we'd kind of plateaued with the mods and uh, talking with um, Retro Game Repair Shop. There's some really cool stuff coming up. And I really wish I could say it, but... I don't think they would be happy with me in the slightest if I <laughs> release some of that info. And you wouldn't be happy because when it comes out and you get a chance to... Yeah. When I'm the first person to yeah. show it off. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> uh, Karna says, fair use laws don't exist in Japan. Yeah. Uh, Irwin was uh, replying to Philip, I was hoping for Nintendo to do a GBC Mini ALA NES and SNES Mini, but for Game Boys. CBK, I got you. Did you post that one yet? No, let's do that real quick. All right, I'll keep reading. Uh, Philip was replying to Irwin. Uh, me as well. I think it would do good. Rux at Karna. True, however, they do have circumstances for private use or reproduction in libraries and quotations. Nothing like Article 107 of the U.S. Copyright Act. Rux says they won't as long as they can do a virtual console on switch or whatever their newest handheld system is yeah Anubis says hashtag mod, mod Monday <laughs> <laughs> uh, lastly for getting caught up Erwin says at, at Rux true I feel weird not owning video games it feels like Netflix or video games for video games which sounds nice but I do like owning my games I could see that especially collectors mm-hmm it's live, by the way. It's live. Refresh. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Not yeah. the eat fresh refresh, though. <laughs> I still can't believe that one didn't pop right away. That's oh my gosh. so good looking. I'm, I'm surprised that we have two working Game Boys on this stream. <laughs> and it's only, I mean, it's still been two and a half hours almost, but. Wow. Ugh. Nothing, I'm sure my battery's not dead on anything. Uh, you're down to 18% on the tablet here. Mm. Yeah, yum yum raisin. Nintendo can do better console if they wanted to make a console made for Game Boy gamers, but the thing is Nintendo cannot make money just the console itself. They make more money on their games. Mm -hmm. uh, followed up with FYI that Nintendo is a company, not an individual. They only can. Their only concern is to make more money. Yeah, uh, you know. I, I totally agree with everything you're saying. I just think, from a standpoint of who's going to make a better one, it's going to be us. And I, yeah, they're like with the PlayStation, the Xbox, all those consoles don't make money. They actually lose money. I don't know about the Switch, but the other ones lose money because they're really like fifteen hundred dollar PCs smashed into a console. Uh, but they make all their money on games, and especially with Game Pass and the new PlayStation subscription coming up. Uh, that's where they make all their money, you're correct. But I, I price comparison-wise, they would probably put it out for like 100 bucks, maybe even 80 bucks, if they did their own Game Boy Classic, which would definitely hurt when this is a... Hold, wait for it. Maybe. There it is. There we go. Emmanuel. Love you, Mom. Thank you. Bye, Mom. It says Dennis Simmons. It's my mom's account. I don't know why. We we can't change it. It literally will not let us. She's my person. Uh, so if you ever see Dennis Simmons, it's my mom. And DJ Ames is him. But yeah, I think the uh, price to performance-wise, Nintendo's going to make a better one uh, because they don't have to put a uh, flash cart in their system they can just flash it onto the system memory but 
I don't know. I, I just think that we could make a better thing. Maybe not price-wise, but features and all that. I think that the people would make it way better than Nintendo. That's not. I don't think that's to say that Nintendo isn't passionate about what they do. I just think no. that the the groundswell of passion from all you guys that do this is mm -hmm. definitely stronger. Also, these guys have uh, little covers for the... Uh, uh, I can't think of what it's called. You, the link port. Oh. Uh, which I think is a little weird, but... So which included. one's old? The, oh, actually, that's a good point. I just assumed it was the wood one. Yeah, it's the wood one. Oh. The NES one is still up for sale if you'd like it. And I'll probably make a post about it onto Instagram and the YouTube community tab. So if you're wanting it and you're in here right now, I'd recommend buying it now because once I post to the other places it'll probably sell unless it's like the pink one that just never sell uh, never sold for a long so time Enel, Enel Saga if I'm saying that right um, is looks like who bought the grain boy I'm so, assuming that's Emmanuel or is that what the Emmanuel Emmanuel yeah Emmanuel Enel Saga uh, so I wonder where if that where if the world that is going probably tell you but I don't want to say it and, I don't want to reveal someone's location. Yeah. Come here. Hey, Nugget. Hi. Mom left you, so. Yeah. Be part of the stream? Hmm? They can't see you. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there we go. Say hi to the stream. Let's bring the whole family in here. Mm hmm. This is Nugget. Opal's probably still watching, going, Doc. Doc. Cat. 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 <laughs> it took Opal out. To the back part of the property where we have the unicorns and there's some horses over there and mm -hmm. trying to teach her to say horse horse she's cat 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 okay <laughs> okay well i think i am done for this stream so thank you guys for watching uh gotta be patient for the sp i will do you know what since we're here this is a extended stream anyways oh yeah that's right emmanuel I'll let Papa pick it, but we got some games in here. These are for the DMGs and the Game Boy Colors only uh, until these run out, so no guarantees. You get this game that's in Japanese, <laughs> so whether you want it or not, if you throw it away, if it's a little bonus keepsake for you, whatever. Uh, I think it's, it's something about dinosaurs. Some sort of dinosaur game. Pop it in, make sure it works. This is the game that will be included with your uh, your purchase here. It's all in Japanese. <laughs> I don't know if there's a language setting. There's a little, little stegosaurus? I don't know. I don't know my dinosaurs. There you go. Have fun with that. Um, you were going to grab something from the show. Yeah, I was going to... See, uh, let's see. Is this a spoiler alert? No. Uh, okay. Put it back on screen, I can read it. I'll try to do that while. Oh, okay. Okay. Free cart. Woo! Dino Breeder. It's a dinosaur breeding game. It's interesting. Uh, so, we've got other, we got the pink one that was like the Game Boy Color that took a while to sold, to sold, to sell before, <laughs> so it's going to be pink with white buttons, we've got the Wave, I'm sure you guys remember the Great Wave one that was also done with this, uh, the pink one, that was the, the same stream, yeah, yeah. With, it was all white with the, the Wave, the Great Wave off of Kanagawa, I think that's what it is. Maybe butchered that or got it completely wrong. Then we got a clear emerald one. Clear emerald. I'll open this one up. Oh, wait. Yeah. It's gonna be this color. <laughs> that almost looks like Tiffany's green through there. No, nah, not quite. It's gonna be this color. It's a, it's a little darker in person. It's just the white stuffing. Uh, reflecting off of it there's that one and then there's a wood one 
So, I will... The first two that are named in the chat are the ones I'll do on Wednesday. So you've got... We'll zoom out a little bit. See all the mess here. <laughs> Pink, wave, wood, clear emerald. Clear emerald, I see that. Triceratops, okay. That was wrong. So, we got clear emerald already. Dig the teal, same one. Next one to be named will be the other one we do. If it's wood, I'm going to probably cancel that one out because I don't want to do two wood thumbnails in a row. <laughs> Does your website ship to the UK? We do ship to the UK. Thank you for asking. I really appreciate that. So if you're wanting the NES one, then... It is kind of close to the jungle green one, but it's a little bit more teal. Wave, that was the next one. <laughs> Barely, because it was in the same sentence as wood. But uh, we'll do the wave one and the clear emerald one for the next stream. It's too bad you couldn't find it like a Maverick Top Gun type one. Yeah, I do want to try, like, because I I, I'll tell you after stream. Okay. <laughs> but I also don't want to reveal anything that Retro Game Repair Shops told me. They told me a lot of secrets. I'm not under any NDA, but they told me a lot of things. They have a lot of faith in me not to spoil anything. <laughs> You, you really have uh, interacted with a lot of pretty cool com people in, the in that side of it. You know? Yeah, in the business yeah. side yeah. of things. So. Yeah, and like earlier somebody said Zed Labs customer service was very oh, helpful. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. And I think it's all family run for Zed Labs. I don't know if they have any other employees. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Kieran is so nice. It's just, I just like the positivity of it all. The, the people in chat, the... You know, there's there's only a little bit of negative that I've heard, and I, mm -hmm. you've already hashed that out. So, okay, yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody, for letting me join in and putting up with my craziness. Yeah, thank you for welcoming my father, and uh, thank you for also welcoming my friend Jordan. Before I don't know if I ever really said that. Didn't do as good as me, but that's not his fault. Well, he didn't read the chat, but I didn't tell him to either. And I, it was also me catching up with him because I hadn't seen him in a very long time. So, and I see this guy every day. So. Love you. Love you too. Okay, these are going to be for next week, or for, sorry, Wednesday at noon. Be sure to look out for that. I know everybody loves those peas. I don't. <laughs> but I'll do it if it makes me money. For now. But, all right. Uh, we rock, says uh, Anubis. And good to have you present Jake's dad. <laughs> uh, it's been good, guys. I hope you guys have a nice rest of your day. Need more of your dad. I try. Good Thank call. you, Jake and Papa <laughs> Jake. All right. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Later, guys. Later, guys. <laughs>